In this video, we'll look at H2SO4 plus H2O, sulfuric acid plus water. These two H's here in front of the sulfuric acid, that's what makes it an acid. They'll dissociate or break off when they're added to water. We get H plus, and you might recognize that from pH, which is a measure of acidity. So H2SO4 is a strong acid. It'll dissociate completely in water. So the first reaction that happens is H2SO4 plus H2O, that gives us HSO4, and you can see it lost one of the hydrogens. Hydrogens, they have a positive charge, so when it lost one, it becomes negative. We'll also get that H plus that dissociated or deprotonated from the H2SO4. Because these are all in water, we need to write an AQ for aqueous after both of them. Aqueous, that means dissolved in water. When we add sulfuric acid to water, this happens right away, and it's complete. All the H2SO4 is changed to the HSO4. But after that, another reaction takes place. The HSO4 we have here now is going to dissociate as well. So this hydrogen will break off from the SO4 minus here. So we end up with SO4, which is now 2 minus because it lost both the hydrogen ions, plus H plus. And we should write aqueous after each one since they are dissolved in water. The difference between the second reaction and the first reaction is that here, this is a strong acid. All of the H2SO4 is going to dissociate into HSO4 minus and H plus. But with this, this is a weak acid, so not all of it will dissociate. Let's put an arrow back this way to show that the dissociation isn't complete. This is an equilibrium. That means at any given time, we'll have some HSO4 minus, we'll have SO4 2 minus, and some H plus. Some of these are changing back to this. Some of this is breaking apart into these two ions. So note that when we have H plus and it's in water, the H plus will combine with the water and it'll form H3O plus. It's called the hydronium ion. So oftentimes when you see these equations, the H plus will be written as H3O plus. Both of these are what makes a solution acetic. Finally, adding H2SO4 to water is a very exothermic reaction. It gets hot. In fact, the water can boil if you don't have enough water. If you're foolish enough to put concentrated H2SO4 into water, it will become very hot quickly. You'll have steam. You may have a little bit of spitting and splashing, and you might end up going to the hospital with acid burns. This is Dr. B with H2SO4 plus water. Thanks for watching.